Thanks for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're back working with the Raspberry Pi 4 running Libra Elec and Kodi Media Center. And we got the Media Center remote and the Bluetooth keyboard. And of course, we're using the AGP Tech HDMI recorder to show you what's on the screen. And here we go. Okay, so we're looking for new add-ons for Kodi. First, you can search by name, and I'm going to search for my favorite, Pluto TV. And it is there, so we can add that as a media source. All right, let's see what else we can add. We're going to go to the Kodi repository under add-ons. we got a long list of add-ons to go through here, but we're going to add video add-ons. Now we got a lot of options here. Some familiar, some not so familiar. I'm going to skip through most. I'm going to go with ones I recognize. And then when we get done selecting these, I'm going to only show you the ones that actually worked for me. I don't know whether that's because this is Raspberry Pi 4B in a beta version of LibreLac. Or if there was a problem with those channels across the Raspberry Pi platform or the Kodi platform for that matter. But I came out with enough channel options that I think most people would have lots of viewing options. Crackle, that's a good one. Put that one on. Looks interesting, DIY network. Looks interesting and gadget. Film Rise. This should have some variety of entertaining options. We see there's news and sports options, comedy, variety of subjects available. I'm not going to test all of these. I'm going to leave some of that up to you. You can leave a comment below on other stuff you found and why you liked it music videos NASA TV popcorn flicks wired that looks interesting that's enough for now so let's check things out see what works and unfortunately Pluto TV did not work for me it says see the log looks like it's upset because I didn't sign in, but then it says see the log file. I tried signing in, I got the same message. I'll have to keep playing with it. We're going to check out the add-ins we selected. We've got Wired, Crackle, Popcorn Flicks, NASA TV, YouTube, and Film Rise. Okay, Wired. There's a lot of variety of shows to choose from. Crackle. Crackle's been one of my streaming favorites for a long time. A lot of movies on demand and some TV series, in, including Crackle's own content. Popcorn flicks. Again here, a variety of genres of movies. New arrivals, most popular. You should have a lot of choices here. Film Rise. Again, lots of genres to choose from. Apparently cinema is different than movies. Oh, it looks like it's all about the British royalty. I guess that's what you would call cinema. Because then when you look at movies, you see an entirely different selection of options. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Now on NASA, I found that their live shows had the same problem Pluto TV did. So that points to some plug-in missing or misbehaving. But the recorded NASA TV shows seem to work just fine. Still lots of viewing options if you're into space travel, especially NASA space travel. Lots of good shows to choose from. 
Did I mention I like rockets? Okay, well, I hope that gets you started with add-ons, video add-ons in Cody Media Center, and thank you very much.